Cheers to, here's, this is my imaginary wine glass. Cheers to 2024. Clink. Welcome back to the Junior Mints Podcast. My name is Finn Lawler. I'm your host. The purpose of this podcast is to help you guys navigate life while helping you guys have fun at the same time. So, it's almost 2024, which means it's time to come up with some New Year's resolutions. You don't have to do this, but for those who want to, please feel free. You know, I personally love coming up with some resolutions to live by for an upcoming new year, even if I don't actually follow through. It's just fun to set a goal. Now this episode, as you can tell by the title, is all about, you know, 2024 and the new year. Now, little sidebar, I sound like I'm a little sick because my voice is low. That's because I am. I'm, I'm, I have a flu or some, something that's going on. But anyway, let's get back into it. So a good name for resolutions are habits. Habits are habits. They can be good or bad. I have a, I, you know what? I have an entire episode on habits, episode 45. Go back and check it out. Now, resolutions are habits that one can implement into their lives, whether it's for a year or your entire lifetime. If you need to change a habit, developing a New Year's resolution might be a good way to go. Now, some people associate resolutions with self improvement, hence the phrase, New Year, New Me. One question I have is, If you're always improving yourself, when are you going to pause and celebrate the progress you've made? I'm just curious. However, you know, if there's one habit that you've been dying to quit, then yeah, it might be a good idea to have a resolution. But you got to just stop and smell the roses, you know? You got to appreciate your progress that you've made. Just live in the moment. Uh, It's about the journey, not the destination. Yeah, it's that's all. Yeah, it's not that hard to think about. But I think a fun way to go about a new year, also, among other things, is with a bucket list. A list of the things you want to do in the year of 2024. Before we get too far, though, I just want to say, you know, from one person to another, remember not to take yourself so seriously. Have fun. And as I said earlier, stop and smell the roses while you're becoming your best self. Trust and enjoy the process. You know, like I said, it's not about the journey. Or excuse me, it's not about the destination, it's about the journey and how you get there, you know? Like there are multiple paths you can take. Just, you know, pick a path, go down and smell the roses, keep going. But yeah, anyway. A good example for this could be that you want to exercise more during the new year. If you train your brain by practicing this habit, then after a while, you know, it'll become habitual to you. Uh, and I think I had missed, I think I had a typo in there, but whatever. Or maybe you want to focus on eating better. One resolution you could have is to cut out some sugar and the processed foods. These are just some examples. The list of resolutions, you know, are endless. You know, you can, heck, you could have a different resolutions list today than you did tomorrow or than you did yesterday right it's like they're constantly constantly changing and like i feel like a small percentage of people they stick to their resolutions for the entire year like i I remember having like a bunch of resolutions uh let's say when the year 2022 started by the end of 2022 i look back and i'm just like wait a minute that was a resolution of mine because I forgot about it because like either it didn't matter or it was irrelevant to me or it wasn't applicable to my stage of life. Does that make sense? So, you know, resolutions can change. And of course, that's how yeah, that's just how it happens, you know. So let's shift over to a more broad topic real quick, which is 2024. And I also want to touch upon the fact that, you know, think about it. 2020 was four years ago. And I also want to point out the fact, fun fact, that this podcast will be four years old this upcoming year. Just, you know, a little sidebar. The fact that the Junior Mints podcast has been going for almost four years. 
I know I don't. Also, here's a here's a fun, quote unquote, fun segue. I don't I don't usually talk about politics on this show, but something to take note of, as you know, a general citizen, is the presidential election of 2024. So that's a thing. So we'll see how that lasts. We'll see how long that goes for. You know, and really. To me, it felt like the 2020 election was just yesterday. So, just when it comes to the 2024 election, just, you know, use your best judgment. That's all I got to say from a person who doesn't engage in politics ever. So, anyway, you know, interestingly, 2024 seemed like it was very far away. But now, By the time this episode comes out, it's basically here. Isn't it weird how time works? I mean, you know, time is something else. Because, like, you know, I think it mainly flies by because we get so caught up in the zone or whatever that sometimes, again, we don't stop and smell the roses. I remember when, you know, 2023 seemed so far away. And, you know, I'll even say that the year 2030... It's far away, but it's not. So, funny how time works, huh? If you think about it, though, time goes on, which is kind of nice. Every year has its own unique things about it. I've had years where I felt the same as the last year. I think what also makes each year different, you know, is finding fun things to do in the year. So, it's also fun to look back, you know, and see what you've done and see how far you've come, and see what kind of person you were. Like, reflecting, you know, that's kind of fun sometimes. So, I'd like to encourage you guys to just make every day fun. Make every year fun. Make every second fun. Make every year fun. You know, you owe it to yourselves, right? I mean, life's too short to not have fun. You get what I'm saying? So, let's make 2024... Let's make it a fun year, shall we? Let's here we go. Here cheers to here's this is my imaginary wine glass. Cheers to twenty twenty four. Clink. So anyway, this has been the Junior Mints Podcast. I have been your host, Finn Lawler. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe to my channel for more podcasts and other videos. Uh drop a like, subscribe down below, and we will see you guys in the next episode. Peace. Pew.